Good afternoon, everyone. This is quite the delightful start. We were hoping to show you just a jackal, but the jackal had other plans, as animals often do. So good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Majikwe Game Reserve. In the northwest of South Africa, we got rained out completely this morning. Have not been that wet on drive in a very long time, but at least there's drive for now. Good afternoon, my name is Lauren and Davi is on camera. <laughs> he waited a very long time to put his thumb up there, but good job, Davi. And um, we just thought we would stop to admire this gorgeous jackal again on the airstrip. We're doing all the things today, jackal. Really showing off. Now it feels like we're back at Medikwe. Beautiful reflections of what could only be elephants. Now it's not hot, it's not sunny, it's not a glorious day. But of course, these big creatures still need to drink. So they've come down to Pipeline Quarry, which is getting smaller and smaller every single time I come down. And when Darby and I were here last year in winter, which must have been September, Darby, I think, this didn't exist. Well, it obviously existed, but not as a water body. It was completely dry. It's really only filled up with the amount of rain that we had in summer. Here they come. Listen to them drinking. Now look at the size difference. So you can see the one at the front is very much smaller. The one at the, the back is definitely older, but still a young boy. And this is, it's very elegant, look at that, but it's play. It's practice and it's play, and it's definitely not the real deal. They're not equals. And what's lovely is you can actually see they're trying to be gentle. Oh. Okay, that's not drinking. <laughs> wow, I don't think I've ever heard that on camera before. Ravi, I don't know what kind of luck you're bringing us today. <laughs> Wow. He is not going to let her out of his sight. If they are mating, they will form a sort of tending bond and he will not at all let her walk about two meters far away from him. Perfect Medikwe scene. We've had Ellie's. Well, we've not quite had a big bull. And if you don't know this is a big bull coming towards you, then my goodness, you don't know much. Ears are out. Swagger is on. Tail is swooshing, no aggression, but big possibility that he could be in must. I'm just gonna watch him go right past us. Got the moves like Jagger. This is such a swagger, my goodness. He must be in must, I'm sure, but I can't see if he's dribbling yet. Let's wait. It doesn't appear that he's dribbling. But we'll be able to smell it for sure. Hello, boy. You just dominate the whole space, don't you? And you know it. Hello.
So yeah, if you don't know these males, these males, we call them the Black Dam males. So it's two brothers, and uh, they two brothers in a coalition of actually six. But uh, four of them is further in the Timbavati area, another reserve, uh, but maybe phew, quite far from us, actually very far from us. They are controlling the northern areas. And then these two brothers have decided to come down here to the northern Sabi Sands. Have they, and they just came down about several months ago, not long ago. And they've been setting up and calling and all that, scent marking. So they've decided to create this area as their own. So yes, and not old. I mean, these males are only five and a, just five and a half years old. So they were born in 2017. So they're still young boys. Uh, so they are just uh, getting to that age now where, of course, as I said, setting up a territory for themselves now. But as you can see, very much a, a close bond between the two brothers lying right next to each other uh, face to face one's got the other paw on the other one and almost looks like they are actually hugging each other while sleeping so that just shows you the bond between these uh, brothers because they are going to be together forever oh look at that <laughs> oh, isn't that so precious okay well i wanted to show you this tree this is a russet bush willow tree and it's a very important bush willow tree this one because underneath this bush willow tree are some lions. We have managed to find the Telabati breakaways. Uh, not all members are accounted for, but I'm very happy to say that we have found them. We've got one female there, and we've got all five of the sub adults, and we've got S8 as well, but we are missing the other female and the little one. But this female that you just saw walk out of shot, she's been calling for the other one, so she can't be too far away. They've been doing some contact calling. Maybe if we're lucky, they will all join up. But very glad that we found them in the end. As I said, it's uh, part of the fun is the looking. And if we knew where they were all the time, it wouldn't be as exciting when we did find them. All right, so we've managed to get a little bit of a better view now. I was hoping they were all going to walk up the road there, but typically they've all laid down. You can just see S8 there right at the back of the shot. But they're lined up on the road like sprinters ready for the off. No, really. Even Darby just said, wow, Shukuru Dam is one of the best places for sunsets. And I really don't think I need to say anything right now. Let's just take this beautiful moment at Madikwe and appreciate the scenes in front of us. Isn't it just stunning? We're actually going to sit here a little bit longer and just enjoy this.